Hello and welcome to Art Snacks. You know, I've seen a lot of people have drawn the abstract lesson uh, that I did before, and so I think there might be some people out there who are just as weird as I am. I like to do abstract sketches, and I do a lot of them while I'm talking or while I'm listening or supposed to be paying attention. And usually, I'll just start somewhere, and I'll start doing something, and it'll just turn into something. Some of my best doodles are the ones that I was supposed to be uh, taking notes in college. Instead, I was doing these fairly uh, sophisticated or very involved doodles um, that I just loved doing. Uh, and of course, they make no sense at all. They just are, are silly things. Um, and the whole idea is that you don't care what they look like. You kind of do them for you. They're fun. And there's a whole sort of library of presidential doodles that's very interesting to look at, the different presidents and what they doodled during very important meetings when they were making decisions for you and I uh, or our ancestors. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, that might be interesting uh, to you. But you see, I'm just sort of going along talking and drawing at the same time. By the way, this could be anything on your paper. It doesn't have to be the same as it is on mine. What I tend to do is draw one thing and then I'll sort of create new space to draw around whatever that one thing is and then I'll go draw another thing so and they could be anything these these things that I draw um, sometimes I'm in a mood where I just really wish I could get away from it all and I'm drawing a boat and it's like my unconscious mind is telling me that it wishes it could get away and uh, do something that doesn't matter so much or do something with less stress involved. Um, what's also fun is to take things in your drawing and turn them into new things. This line that I have here could come down and become something else entirely. So right up here, it's the sun reflection. Down here, it could be part of a snake with a little tongue and now I'm ready to now take a part of this and create some new space again. I leave some things alone and let them be just what what they are and then sometimes I come back and I intrude on them again. So I'm creating some space here and so I've created some space here to do some more designing in. Okay and then Sometimes things just tend to pop out. Ideas in my head tend to pop out. I'm a guitar player, so a lot of times I like to draw guitars and things that I'm doing. Sometimes I'll draw violins. It just sort of depends on what kind of mood I'm in. And that's what's fun about art to me is that it's there for me and can be what I want it to be when I need it to be that. It's an escape from reality sometimes. Sometimes it's a reminder of reality. I guess it's in the eye of the beholder. Now I've got some music here and a little bit of a music theme. Now I could go in here and do some music things to go with it to sort of indicate something about music on the other side of this. Sometimes I'll just do some things like lines and then I'll practice some shading. Let's grab another pencil. Dark, lighter, 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 dark, 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 lighter, 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 dark. It becomes a really strong element up there in the corner of my drawing. Um, in here I could do circles or spheres. They can become spheres if they become three-dimensional. They're circles right now. If I decide to put shading on each one of them, basically I'm playing with making three dimensions on this very flat, so far plane. So some things are very three-dimensional looking and some things are more like cartoon. Let's say now I go in here and do a little shading on this, what is ocean back here. And I've got this whole area that's unexplored down in this area that I could do something with. Sometimes I do things just to bother people, like in the middle of all of it, I make like a watch. Time is always an issue in people's lives, and it appears again and again in my work. So if you make a wristwatch, 
And I like the little things on here for the texture of them. Maybe this is a hairy person. This is a hairy arm under here. <laughs> See, this is going to bother some people. Ew. I can put some reflections across the surface of this glass. Okay. Down here on the bottom, I could make a zigzag line. Over here next to the snake, I could have other lines that are intended to make the snake stand out. I could crisscross them to create a pattern. Okay, back in here, this could be shaded. And this could fade this direction. Okay, this is one crazy, <laughs> crazy drawing and very much on purpose. Anyway, whenever you do an abstract drawing, it doesn't have to look like mine. Absolutely not. If you need some help doing crazy things at first, you know, maybe you'll follow along with me. But there, hopefully you can jump in and just do all kinds of crazy kinds of artwork on your own to express your own imagination and creativity. See you next time.